Hey, Lupita. How are you? Diana, how are you? We have some folks come on in tonight. Hey, Stacy, how are you? some time hopefully some more folks will come on in and maybe they'll catch it if they don't catch it live they'll catch it on the uh, catch the video later on hey Yolanda how are you how are things in your neck of the woods <laughs> you're a part of the country Victoria. Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Hey, Sharon. Oh, I'm glad. I'm glad. Hey, Pilar. Donatra, how are you? Give a, little, a few more seconds. Some more folks to come on in and join us tonight. of Kirk Whalum, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> hey, Destiny, how are you? I pray everything's going well with you and the little one. All right, uh, well, let's get started. And uh, feel free to uh, share this if you can, if you know how to do all that good stuff. Um, but... I want to talk uh, for a little while tonight, uh, and as you saw in the subject, uh, I want to talk about uh, the, the situation that you're going through. It's, it's temporary and not permanent. Uh, oftentimes, we, um, it's amazing how we start to feel when we're in the middle of something, and, uh, or you're in, in the middle of a struggle, in the middle of a challenge. Uh, sometimes you're going through something very emotional. And, and you start to believe that every day is going to be the same, that everything's going to, you know, nothing's ever going to change, that, uh, thank God, I'm glad the surgery went well, Destiny. Uh, and so you start to believe that maybe this is just the way my life is going to be. Praise him, Nate. How are you, man? And you start to, you know, it starts to wear on you emotionally and psychologically because you, you know, you, you start to, you know, get to the point where you're you're, you're getting this you know start despairing even of life and and sometimes uh we saw an episode this week where you know very well known very rich uh woman took her own life and i uh 
we're, the church has got to get to the point where we deal with uh, mental health and depression and all those things because you can still be saved and, 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 and still get some help. Amen. It's, it's okay to get some help, psychological help. It's okay to get some emotional help. Hey, Kim, good to see you. And so, um, but I, I wanted to focus mainly on uh, those that are going through. I, I had a conversation yesterday with a longtime dear friend of mine and, and and some of the things that she was going has gone through over the last couple of years have really been devastating and but it, it was important uh, to to talk to her in a way that uh, to let her know that there is going to be a brighter day and maybe the whole thing tonight is about uh, giving each and every one of us a little hope a little uh, encouragement that uh, Trouble doesn't last always, and situations don't uh, don't stay the same forever. Uh, the Lord can change your entire situation in a moment's notice. But the challenge is, how do we hang in there in the meantime? And and sometimes it will almost make you think when you listen to some people that they never have any really hard times. They never have any moments uh, where they're confused, or they're really, or they're not understanding what's really happening in their life, and. Uh, sometimes you go through these moments and all of us go through them, uh, whether you're saved or not, but especially if you're saved, you're going to have moments where you're grieving, moments where you're hurting, moments where you're confused, moments where you're not understanding uh, what really is happening in your life at that particular moment. And it'll almost make you want to throw up your hands and give up and make you want to throw in the towel. But you have to understand that blessed men and women go through Blessed men and women go through moments where they're going to have these challenges, but you keep on going to the other side. You keep on moving because you know that it's not going to be this way forever. Uh, no situation is permanent. Uh, nothing that uh, is happening in your life is going to be forever. And no trouble that you're facing even right now is going to be that way uh, all the time. The Lord can turn everything around at a moment's notice. Everything can change for you, uh, you know, overnight. I, I was telling the individual, I said, you know, everything could be different tomorrow. Amen. But you have to keep going. That's right, Sister Chandra. You got to keep moving. You got to keep on going. You got to keep persevering. And so the Lord dropped a couple of things in my mind. One of them, and I'm kind of working on it for Sunday, um, and, but I'll go ahead and tell y'all because, you know, I just can. Uh, but uh, the Lord spoke something to me uh, earlier today where he's talking about the fact that our light affliction, which is but for a moment, uh, worketh for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight in glory. And, and it's a, because we're focusing not on the things that are, uh, that are the present situation. We're not focusing on the present trouble because the present trouble is temporary. The present challenge that you're facing is temporary. He said, but the things that are not seen are eternal. So what, our, what the enemy likes to do is to get us to focus, lose our focus on the eternal things, lose our focus on the long term. We get caught up in the moment. And sometimes we make these you know, drastic, permanent decisions over a temporary issue. Uh, maybe I need to say that one more time. You can't make these drastic, permanent decisions over a temporary issue. Uh, I, I saw something. <laughs> I was watching Judge Judy today. Carl and I were watching Judge Judy. And, and it was interesting that it was a guy um, who, whose wife was, had moved, uh, had, 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 a, had a court order. They had a, a domestic issue, a domestic situation, and the wife had to leave the home. So he had a restraining order against the wife. And within a few days of the restraining order, he's putting out uh, an ad saying he had a room for rent in the house to help pay for the money that the wife, you know, wasn't going to be contributing. Now, of course, they'd already, you know, paid the rent for that month, but immediately he moved someone in. Amen. Judge Judy is, is, is will minister to you if you let her. But they, he moved someone in, a, a woman, mind you, this is uh, how crazy this guy was. He moved a woman in uh, within days of his wife leaving. Now, and so Judge Judy said, you, you made, the, you jumped the gun, you made a decision moving somebody in permanently, like basically renting out the room, uh, taking first and last month's rent uh, for a situation that hadn't even been uh, settled in the court yet. 
And of course the wife came back. And the wife is wondering, well, what's this woman doing in my house? And so now they're on Judge Judy because the woman is suing him to get the money back. And she won. What I'm saying is he made a decision that was that was premature. And sometimes we make decisions that are premature. We jump the gun. We, we panic when we should just go ahead and let God work things out. And we have to allow God to, to work on us. So you have to allow God to, to let us, you know, help us to learn the lesson that we're supposed to learn in that particular situation. Because things are going to happen to each and every one of us. Challenges are going to come to each and every one of us. But how we handle it is going to be the key. Uh, and, and I was reminded of the scripture that's over in the 84th Psalm. And, and uh, I heard my, my, my late, the late great, hey, Pastor Amy, I, the late great uh, Pastor Superintendent Victoria Thrash preached a message at a fellowship meeting back in the late, either the early 80s or the late 70s. I'm not, I'm, I know I'm really dating myself. But, but she preached a message entitled, Blessed Men and Women, but Blessed Men Go Through. And she preached out of the 84th Psalm. And she was preaching the text that says in 84, uh, Psalm 84 and 6, where it says, Who passing, blessed is the man, uh, verse 5 says, Blessed is the man whose strength is in thee, whose heart are the ways of them, who passing through the valley of Becca. And, the val and Becca in Hebrew means tears. You're passing through the valley of tears. Hallelujah. Amen. You may be crying today, but you're passing through. Amen. You got to get that in your spirit somewhere that you're not going to be here forever. And all of us go through the valley of tears. We go through moments where uh, life is overwhelming us a bit. So who passing through the valley of Becca, make it a well. The rain also filleth the pools. They go from strength to strength. Every one of them appeareth before the Lord. What are you saying, Pastor Hamilton? And I want to read that in the amplified version because it gives us a bit more clarity. It says, who passing through the valley of weeping, they make it a place of springs. Even in a place of weeping, you're still going to be able to have some refreshing moments. God's about to send some waters of refreshing. He says, a place of spring. The early rain also covers it with blessings. I'm going to speak this to somebody tonight, that the Lord is about to bless you in the midst of all your tears. Uh, Stevie Wonder had a wonderful song on Songs of the Key of Life called Joy Inside My Tears. The Lord can give you joy in the midst of your tears, in the midst of all your challenges, in the midst of the struggle that you're facing, in the midst of the anxiety that you're feeling. The Lord can give you Amen. Strength. He can bless you right where you are. The Lord's about to bless somebody that's even watching this right now, that you're going through a really tough time and you're wondering, is it ever going to end? The Lord said it's temporary. And while you're waiting for me to turn the situation around, I'm going to drop some blessings on you to keep you moving forward. Who passing through the Valley of Becca, uh, Valley of Weeping, they make it a place of springs. Early rain also covers it with blessings. They go from strength to strength, increasing in victorious power. Hallelujah. Let me read that one more time. They go from strength to strength, increasing in victorious power. Each of them appears before God in Zion. Oh Lord, and so you understand that now the Lord is positioning you that even if you're going through a really tough time, you're going through a tough time physically. You're going through a tough time financially. You're going through a tough time in your relationship. You're going through a tough time emotionally, psychologically. There's pressure on you all around, but you're going through the valley. Amen. If I had a crowd in here tonight, I'd say turn to your neighbor and tell them, come all the way through. You're going to have to come all the way through this time you're in right now because it will be over soon. It won't last forever. This trouble is only temporary. This is only temporary. The blessings of God are permanent. Hallelujah. The Lord has his hand on you. He won't slack. He's not slack concerning his promise. He won't back up, but you got to come all the way through that valley because there's a blessing on the other side. And he says, I'm going to bless you even as you're moving through it, as you're even crying. But the Lord is positioning you. That's right, Sister Barbara. He's positioning you for the breakthrough. He puts you, allowed you to go through the valley. And you remember the, the uh, famous 23rd Psalm where David said, yea, though I walk through 
through the valley of the shadow of death. I will fear no evil for thou art with me. Yes, you're going to go through some times where you're going through it. You're going through the valley of shadow of death, the valley of Becca, the valley of weeping. There's also the valley of Acre, which is a valley of trouble. Amen. When you're going through all of these things, that's right, going through, but you got to move all the way through. You don't plan on living there permanently. Don't make, don't take up residence. Don't, don't plant yourself there because you're not going to be there forever. You're not going to be in this situation forever. The Lord says, I'm bringing you all the way out. And so I, I might deal with that message on Sunday because we're looking not, we're not focusing. You can't allow yourself to focus on temporary trouble because the Lord is saying, I got something better for you. And there is a, there's something, even this temporary trouble is working in your life. Hallelujah. There's something that this temporary challenge that you're going through is working out in your life. And the Lord can bring a breakthrough about in your life, amen, at any particular time, at whatever he gets ready. He can speak at a moment's notice and everything can change in your life. You can go to bed tonight with things on your mind and the Lord can help you wake up in the morning and it's already changed. How many of us have ever wasted time and energy crying over something that was over? It, it what never didn't even turn out to be as bad as we thought it was going to be. Sometimes the enemy wants to mess with your mind and get you troubled and get you anxious and get you uh, tripping over things that aren't really even worth all the trouble. So I just want to encourage you tonight that you're walking through the, don't, somebody's going through a really tough time right now. Sometimes you need someone to comfort you and you need somebody to talk to. I understand it. It's important. All of us need to have some real friends. We need to have some people that we can talk to and pray with us and, and help walk us through these tough times. But I want to just encourage somebody that you're not going to be in this situation forever. This is going to change. You can look back in a matter of weeks and say, oh, look at how God brought me through. And you make sure you give God the praise. You're going to be in here long enough to where you understand that God is the one that brought you through. But honey, make sure you understand this, that no matter what's happening in your life, God is bringing you all the way through. And you're about to go from strength to strength. Somebody write that down somewhere. You're going from strength to strength. You're going from victory to victory, from faith to faith. God is increasing you. And God is going to do that for you as you hang in there. Amen. God is already moving some things around in your life. And I'm glad to hear it. I want to know that God is doing what he promised. Don't think that God has forgotten about you. Don't think that he has given up on you. He's bringing you through this time. But you're going to have to go through it. But understand, it's only temporary. It's not forever. It's not going to last all. Oh, it's not, this is not the way your life is going to be forever. It's going to be a temporary challenge that's going to give you a permanent blessing. Amen. God bless you all tonight. I might have caught it, cut it a little short tonight, but I thank God for you. And, and I want to encourage you uh, to keep hoping and believing in God. Don't give up. Uh, as the song says, don't give up on God because he won't give up on you. So I want to encourage you that you're going through the Valley of Becca, but you're going to, the Lord is going to bless you even in the middle of that. Amen. The rain is going to fill the pools. He's going to, he's going to drop some blessings on you even while you're going through, even while you're having that challenge. The Lord said, I can bless you right now. I can bless you in the middle of it. I can bless you when it's all over, but you have to hang in there and come all the way through. Amen. Good to see Bishop uh, Titus Stewart, my friend from Houston, Texas, the great man of God. Glad to see you. Amen. And But uh, glad to see you tonight, sir. Uh, but I want to encourage somebody uh, to keep on believing God, keep on trusting him. And, and, and if you need to talk to somebody, please reach out to somebody spiritual. Please, before you do something rash, before you do something, uh, you know, you make a permanent decision on a temporary issue because you're having a temporary challenge, make sure you talk to somebody, make sure you pray with somebody, make sure you get somewhere and hear the word of God. But I thank God for each and every one of you tonight. I love you all. Uh, I want to encourage you, a couple of announcements. One, uh, this Saturday, uh, I'm going to be uh, participating in a, uh, at a conference, a threefold conference at Home Assembly Church in Los Angeles. 
I believe it's 13515 South Figueroa Boulevard. I hope that's the right address. Uh, don't quote me on it. But anyway, I'm thanking God for um, the opportunity to be able to minister. Uh, the theme for Saturday is I'm going to be on the program with uh, Bishop Vanessa Ussery and Bishop, our chairman, Bishop David Roan. Uh, I'm going to be doing my little uh, part uh, that afternoon. But uh, the theme for it is God is Bigger. Uh, Pastor uh, Bishop Ussery is going to be dealing with God is bigger than your culture. And uh, I'm going to be dealing with God is bigger than your problems. Amen. And I can't remember what, amen, Bishop Rowan is going to be dealing with, but God is bigger than that too. But uh, we're going to be there all, all day from, well, from 10 to 3, I believe it is, and maybe 3.30. But we're going to have a great time in the Lord. They're going to have lunch. Uh, we're going to have a great time in fellowship. So I encourage you, if you're in the Los Angeles area you are, and your Saturday is free, or you might want to cancel some stuff, but be there because we were we really were blessed. We did it a few years ago, and uh, I'm honored that uh, District Elder Marcus Jackson and the Home Assembly family are having me uh, back again, and uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to being there on Saturday. And glad to see Pastor Robert Rush jumped on here. Uh, he's got a wonderful conference coming up. See, look at this. I got it right here, Pastor. The Upside Down Conference, June 26th and 20, 22nd, the 22nd and 23rd at Embassy Suites in Valencia. Uh, got some great preachers. Uh, Pastor Robert Rush III, of course, will be there. Brian Meadows is coming all the way from Atlanta. Uh, Timothy Alden, all kind of great men and women of God are going to be participating. So if you get a chance, uh, make sure uh, you get to the Upside Down, the Summit, Upside Down, the Upside Down Summit. It's going to be jumping off uh, Rush Ministries is, is, is making that happen. So I want to encourage you. So we got the conference. Uh, God is bigger than your problems. We're going to be there on Saturday, uh, this Saturday, June 9th. And then we got Pastor Rush's conference is coming up later in the month. Uh, also, uh, I'm going to be in the Northern California District Council next month. Our own council is going to be going on in Linwood uh, the week of the, uh, the 11th through the 14th. Uh, but also, I'm going to be jumping on a plane that Friday afternoon and flying up to San Jose. I'm going to be preaching for the Northern California District Council, uh, my dear friend Bishop Noel Jones and his council. Uh, I'm going to be preaching that Saturday morning, I believe, uh, in, their, in their closeout service. And uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to being there uh, with uh, my friend Bishop Dace at his church. Uh, so a lot going on, so stay tuned, and there's a lot of great things happening. Also, uh, you may have got the flyer last week, uh, saw it on Facebook. Uh, all of our Thursday night teachings are going to be are on YouTube right now. Go to Steve, Bishop Steve Hamilton Ministries on YouTube. Subscribe to that channel, and you can check out these. If you want to check out uh, videos of the ones you may have missed, uh, they're all there for you. So subscribe to Steve Hamilton Ministries channel. And uh, it will bless you. Uh, and I'm, I'm grateful to all of you that tune in and those of you that tune in every week. Uh, so we're, we're just uh, elevating and branching out and trying to do what we can uh, to advance the kingdom. So I thank God for each of you. Glad to see Evangelist uh, Angela Allen Johnson, great woman of God. Uh, glad to see you on tonight. And everybody, amen. Linda, good to see you all. God bless you. Amen. And keep you. Have a great weekend, everybody. Uh, if you get a chance, share this. Uh, maybe it'll bless somebody else. If you know somebody that's going through a tough time, uh, send it and you think this word will bless them, send this to them and uh, let them uh, watch the video as well. All right. God bless you. Uh, we look forward to you, uh, those of you that can be here Sunday. Uh, we will see you. Uh, if, I, if I'm ever in New York, uh, I would be honored to be there. Amen. I'd be honored to come through. Uh, to make it to Antioch, Antioch Baptist Church. Amen. God bless you. Uh, amen. And we bless God for everybody that was on here tonight. And uh, we pray that you have a great weekend. Uh, make sure you get to somebody's church on Sunday. If you can't get there in person, please uh, tune in and watch them uh, and believe this and understand this. All of you that are on here, I'm praying for you and believing God for great things for you. Uh, we're at the halfway point of the year, so get ready. Uh, there's a shift happening and I'm excited about it. God bless you. Have a great rest of your night.